हेलो एवरीबॉडी वेलकम टू अस्टोडी फाइव टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट सैटर्न इन इलेवंथ हाउस व्हाट काइंड ऑफ जनरल रिजल्ट्स वी कैन सी इफ सैटर्न इज इन इलेवंथ गुड एंड बैड बोथ एंड टेक्निकली सैटर्न इन इलेवंथ हाउस इज कंसीडर्ड अ रियली गुड सिचुएशन फॉर मनी एंड फाइनेंस एंड करियर एंड स्पेसिफिकली पीपल हु वॉन्ट टू बी अ बिजनेस मैन और ऑन्टरप्रन्योर बट एट द सेम टाइम देर आर मल्टीपल एस्पेक्ट्स विच सैटन कैन इम्पैक्ट इन लाइफ बाय बींग इन इलेवंथ वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक ऑल अबाउट दैम टूडे सो लेट्स स्टार्ट दिस वीडियो If you want to book a consultation for yourself you can go on this website the link is shown in description so we are going to discuss about saturn in in 11th house now saturn rahu mercury venus these planets are considered naturally beneficial in 11th and if they are well placed they have tremendous capacity to give excellent results in life so first of all we'll take the first situation that is if saturn is well placed by by being well placed i mean that saturn is in own sign exaltation sign friendly sign it is in uh, conjunction or association with the uh, kendra lords or the uh, second or 11th lords itself making good raj yoga or dhan yoga in the 11th house and at the same time saturn is uh, the zodiac sign in which it is sitting the lord of that sign is well placed in the chart and sun moon and ascendant lord the lagna lord they should also be strong and well placed in the chart because sun moon and ascendant lord they govern the inherent fundamental strength of the chart if they are not well placed they are weak making bad yogas no matter how good your other planets are you won't find expected results from them even if you are running their dashas you won't see any good results or the results up to the potential that they can give so you have to understand that the, uh, sun moon and ascendant lord are seen as primary fundamental factors or parameters for judging the chart so you have to see them and then if they are well placed making good yogas saturn in 11th house can fetch excellent results so first of all here from 11th house saturn understand that 11th house is the house of source of income the area from where you can earn the money so here saturn has a lot of influence upon deciding that what kind of fields will be favorable for the person to be in to earn good amount of money in life we'll talk about them later but first of all saturn is a planet which is slow in nature so it delays the person it tests the person and understand that 11th house is 6th from 6th so 6th house is the house of delays struggles challenges hard work labor uh, persistence consistency fighting spirit uh, relentlessness competition that is what 6th house represents saturn is also the same thing and since it is in 11th 11th house is 6th from 6th so it shows that it has full capacity if it is well placed it has full capacity to give you success in life monetarily or career or wise or uh, in uh, any aspect of life but understand that it makes you work hard in order to get them so saturn in 11th house shows that there will be delays there it will test you it will test your diligence it will test your dedication it will test your patience it will test your relentlessness but if the person persist they put efforts even though sometimes they face struggles ultimately they win that is what 6th 11th house saturn gives so saturn in 11th house can show delays struggles challenges but ultimately it gives you success so and specifically after 30 to 33 years of age majorly uh, a person finds good opportunities to grow in life hmm? and whatever comes through means whatever money whatever success whatever growth it gives you it is stays saturn prolongs the things so it gives you the things even though it takes time but what it gives you it is stays with the person it is not like that uh, it it comes and goes but at the same time saturn is also the planet of law huh? so saturn represents the enforcement of dharma so it shows that if it is well placed for that you have to check jupiter not only saturn you have to see jupiter and moon they are very very important in order to assess that person will be moralistic ethical or not so if a person is moralistic and ethical whatever saturn is going to give you it is going to come through righteous means it can and i'm not only talking about money i'm talking about money power position authority respect name reputation anything what it has given you it will stay with you but the condition here is that it should come through righteous means 
I'll come to this point later when we'll talk about Saturn if it is bad. But you have to understand, Saturn ultimately is the enforcer of law. So it shows that if you have to uh, get anything from me, you have to come through the course of some ethics. And uh, if that is not there, you can get some kind of success uh, temporarily. But ultimately, it's not going to stay. So this will uh, be dealt later when we'll talk about bad Saturn. But right now, Saturn in 11th gives these uh, things very well. Next point here is that it gives you learning because it is looking at the first house. First house is you yourself. It is looking at the fifth house. Fifth house is your intelligence and learning and education. And Saturn is experiences. So it gives you learning through life experiences, challenges, enemies, struggles, all kinds of obstacles which a person can face, whether in personal life, professional life, in the form of enemies, rivals, court issues, a competition, anything, whatever in life, anything, whatever. So it shows that whatever has been thrown to you, the person has capacity and you need to check Mars for this as well. But it gives you capacity to fight. It gives you stability, depth and maturity, a practical, realistic approach that whatever comes, I'll be able to face it because I've seen most of the things. That is what Saturn is. And that is why it gives success in a, uh, in a later stage of life. Okay, not immediately like when you are a kid all the time. So that, that kind of thing can be seen. But it makes person practical, clever, street smart, who learns through life experiences. It makes you really realistic, opportunistic, good understanding of how the world functions, societies function, uh, how people behave, how the money flows good business acumen it is an excellent situation for being a businessman or entrepreneur you need to check other combinations mercury seventh house and rahu but saturn in 11th or third house or seventh house is considered a really good situation for being self-employed it gives you that natural knack for business then it also gives you a, a, a materialistic ambitions because 11th house is wishes desires so saturn in 11th until and unless some major uh, spiritual combinations are not happening, so Saturn will give aversion or rejection of uh, material desires. But most of the time it is seen that it gives material ambitions like person wants to uh, have uh, reputation, status, uh, a majorly uh, good money in life because Saturn does not represent power always. It shows I am wealthy, I am rich, I am affluent and I can do uh, I can live the life what I wanted or dreamt of so that kind of thing can be seen and uh, it uh, shows uh, that it gives progress to the person because you have to see other combinations for career but in general Saturn in 11th if it is well placed uh, it can show that progress will be slow and steady but it will be there so whatever you get it uh, stays with you and uh, uh, another thing is uh, that uh, it does not give you sudden gains most of the time because Saturn is a hard earned fruit. Uh, but it uh, since it is looking at eighth house, okay, eighth house, and uh, it is also the sixth from sixth, so it can show sudden gains sometimes or sudden losses depending on how it is. But if it is well placed, it won't give losses. It can show sudden opportunities which come after hard work, sudden opportunities, sudden gains, sudden. Uh, fulfillment of wishes out of the blue which you never expected uh, or which you lost hope for that is also how Saturn functions when we lose hope all the time that okay I, I don't even want this anything in uh, this thing anymore and then it gives you that that is how it functions sometimes so that can also be seen and uh, there are various areas for education or career perspective for which Saturn is considered very good in 11th. So it can, first of all, it is excellent situation for being a businessman or a self-employed person or entrepreneur or a sales uh, or in sales or trade. Uh, but apart from that, it can show all STEM fields, science, technology, engineering and mathematics areas, particularly uh, IT, electronics, communication, mechanical, uh, aerospace aviation specifically it can show any any area in in uh, engineering and technology domains but these are the specific ones which saturn governs uh, it himself uh, itself then uh, here it can also show operations management people who are in supply logistics operations planning all those things oil and gas industry transportation shipping uh, 
uh, and uh, mining or construction or uh, uh, this uh, real estate infrastructure uh, agriculture manufacturing industry a bfsi industry because 11th house is money so it can show fi uh, banking financial service insurance or financial institutions of any kinds uh, commerce politics media mass communication music for this also saturn is good defense uh, saturn is good for defense in 11th defense or police or security or sports I have to see the combinations for all of them are different, but Saturn in 11th can give uh, um, career or uh, money from any of these fields, which uh, I said so far. Next, uh, it also prolongs the life and age. If Saturn is good and the ascendant lord is strong uh, or the Varish, Varish means the birthday lord in which the person is born, the weekday lord in which the person is born. So if they are well placed, then it enhances the life it gives long life prolongs the life it looks at the eighth house and the first house so it prolongs the life prolongs the age uh, then uh, it can show that saturn in 11th if it is in a situation as i said it increases the material desires but it does not give fulfillment through them means you can get accomplishments you can have success in life but it's still the dissatisfaction the more desire to acquire more and more is still there so you can call it greed you can call it ambition whatever but it can show that saturn if it is with rahu mercury it will definitely be there that the part of dissatisfaction always prevails person longs for something more and more no matter how much they get in their lives that can be seen if good spiritual yogas are there then the situation will be different so for that moon plays a very vital role sun moon jupiter ketu and if 11th house is, uh, I mean, Saturn is in such situation where it is reducing your uh, desires, it can reduce your desires also. So for that, very powerful spiritual yogas must be there in the chart. If they are there, then definitely it will give you less ambition, more detachment, more contentment, more um, aversion to the material aspect of life. Now we'll discuss if Saturn is uh, badly placed in 11th house. By this I mean that Saturn is an enemy sign, debilitation sign and the uh, niche bhanga, the cancellation of debilitation is not happening. Then uh, the lord of the zodiac sign in which Saturn is sitting that is badly placed in the chart. It is in association with 6th, 8th or 12th lords or malefics like Sun, Mars, Rahu, Ketu uh, in close conjunction with Sun getting totally combust or in planetary war or in deep papakartari yoga or uh, the uh, uh, the sun moon and ascendant lord they are not well placed in the chart if any of these situations are happening or the more of these situations are happening the more saturn will become weak and afflicted and it will have capacity to damage the 11th house areas and create problems in life so i'll tell all the uh, possibilities here it will vary from person to person depending on the combinations in their particular horoscope but all the possibilities which are there that i'm going to share so treat it as a source of information don't jump to conclusions so if saturn is badly placed in the chart so it can show that now the uh, the desire fulfillment which will be there the desires will be there but the desire fulfillment will be through adharma adharma means through immoral unethical practices so it can enhance greed selfishness it can show lies deceit conspiracy manipulative behavior hypocrisy opportunism ingratitude corruption blinded materialism where person becomes literally the slave for money and material pleasures and bodily pleasures only it can show excessive uh, immorality unethical negative behavior uh, and uh, wrong use of knowledge because it is looking at the fifth house wrong use of knowledge wrong use of intelligence wrong use of your uh, uh, your skills that can be seen then apart from that people who uh, abuse their power wherever they are so uh, abuse of power that can be seen it can show any kind of indulgence in illicit immoral unethical illegal corrupt malpractices uh, most of the time saturn in 11th uh, does not show violent uh, uh, be behaviors it, ca it depends not uh, it can but uh, you have to see that if saturn is bad then it most of the time shows uh, white collar crimes okay uh, where person because of their greed they tend to fall in uh, the fall prey to participation in uh, illegal practices but you have to see the yogas for that don't just 
अंडरस्टैंड ओके सैटन इज इन सच अ सिचुएशन तो पर्सन विल बी लाइक दिस नो तो आई एम जस्ट टेलिंग ऑल द पॉसिबिलिटीज नाउ अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट इफ इलेवेंथ हाउस द धन योग आर बैड लाइक सेकेंड लॉर्ड इलेवेंथ लॉर्ड आर नॉट वेल प्लेस्ड वीनस जुपिटर आर नॉट वेल प्लेस्ड देन वॉट डज इट मीन दैट हियर इट कैन इम्पैक्ट द फाइनेंसेज सैटन कैन गिव पॉवर्टी लॉसेस डेट्स लोन्स विच नेवर गेट रीपेड सडन करियर इनस्टेबिलिटी इधर द पर्सन डज नॉट गेट द जॉब और दे लूज द जॉब फ्रीक्वेंटली नो स्टैब्लिश नो स्टैब्लिशमेंट इन बिजनेस नो स्टेबिलिटी इन बिजनेस और करियर और प्रोफेशन वॉट्स एवर नो ग्रोथ फाइनेंशियल क्राइसिस टेंस टू हैपन बिजनेस फेलियर्स टेंस टू हैपन पार्टनरशिप एंड इन डिसीट और लॉसेज loss of assets either the person is not able to make assets or build assets like property or money or whatever or even if they have they te- they end up losing everything at certain stage of life then it can show uh this uh, income inflow will be obstructed because saturn is obstacles so if it is bad what it will show that the money it comes for some duration in ta- uh, in life and neck uh, and the other times it just stops it is the irregular income inflow can be seen delays struggles they tend to happen a lot and uh, majority of the time person finds themselves in uh, constant struggle and challenges it can be anything it can be in personal life professional life it can it can give court cases enemies rivalry bad work environment extreme office politics where you end up uh, 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 having a lot of problems uh, at workplace uh, trouble with bosses uh, loss of name or reputation it is bad for education because it is looking at the first house and the fifth house so it can create uh, challenges in education either your education suffered you didn't had any interest in ed- in education or academia or at the same time it shows that uh, the the person just leaves their education the gaps are created or illiteracy happens that kind of thing can be seen if it is extremely bad you have to see the fifth house and fifth lord for that as well uh then for children because fifth house is children so if fifth lord fifth house or jupiter venus they are not good then it can hamper the fertility delay in children troubles to children or troubles in relationship with the children that can be seen uh relationship same thing goes for relationship because fifth house is relationships mainly romantic relationships so either the relationships uh, they don't happen or even if they happen they don't sustain because of uh, more preference for career or money or whatever or it shows poor commitment or or uh, any other financial problems tend to create a lot of challenges in the relationship anything can happen then uh, it can uh, create uh, health issues because it is sixth from sixth and looking at the first house and it is looking at the eighth house if it is bad it can create health problems chronic health problems that depends on the chart because saturn is a giver of incurable long term chronic illnesses whatever they may be so that can happen then 11th house is social social circles so if saturn is really bad then it can show that the social circle is not very wide friends are not there bad for elder siblings either the elder siblings are not there or if they are there there you don't have a good relationships or terms with them it can show uh, excessive uh, what you can say uh, uh, care attitude which which is full of carelessness excessive procrastination no seriousness no will power no dedication no discipline and uh, you tend to blame 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 the situations or people who find excuses for your own faults and mistakes and failures and irresponsible uh, nature can be seen narrow mindedness can be seen and uh, due to which obviously the failures will definitely be there in life so uh, these are obviously the negative results of saturn but they are possible you have to check and they will, as i said they will vary from person to person somebody is having some issues let's suppose in finances somebody is having issues in health somebody is having issues in their personality somebody is having issues in their personal life that depends upon how the situation is in the uh, uh, chart so i have told you all the combinations or the possibilities which are uh, uh which are possible in this case but you have to judge based upon other planetary alignments study the entire chart and then come to a conclusion that okay this is how it is exhibiting its results in a particular case okay and if you have uh, or if you are facing any kind of problems the negative results of saturn i have made uh, two videos uh, upon the remedies for the negative results of saturn you can watch them the links are shown in the card section above they are given in description below 
watch them it has been uh, it, there are many other areas uh, many other things described there uh, but specifically practical and astrological remedies are told and if you are facing any kind of problems given by saturn try to follow those remedies in uh, uh, in uh, life and you will see the changes happening but you have to be uh, consistent in following those remedies so that becomes the main thing but watch those videos for improving any kind of negative results if it is bringing in life so that's all from my end today regarding saturn in 11th if you are new to my channel subscribe below for more check on my website facebook page instagram their links are shown in description else we'll meet in the next video till then goodbye and thank you